Hello and welcome to a new KiCad tutorial. Place footprints and outline of printed circuit board. KiCad tutorial 1.14 A. Just to go back a bit, last time we completed our, our circuit in a schema. And this is what our, our circuit looked like. And uh, then what we did then is we um, uh, generated a netlist. And you generate a netlist by clicking on this icon with the uh, green cross at the top and net written below. And it says here yeah, generate netlist in the display text. I'm not going to do it now. I've already done this. After you've generated the netlist, you click on this icon with the PCB the green PCB track with the gold background and it says run PCB new to lay, lay out printed circuit board. And if you click on that, the um, printed circuit board is, is displayed. Now, now, when you open the PCB new for the first time, all the footprints are clumped together. Now you must place your footprints and you do that by right clicking on the footprint and then you select move. You move the footprints apart, these white lines that is shown here between the footprints are called air wires. They are collectively known as a rat's nest. You move and you rotate the footprints until you have the least number of air wire crossings. I generally just follow the, the placing of the footprints according to the circuit dra drawing. After the placing of the footprints, it should look more or less like this. I just want to show you uh, an, an enlargement of, of it all. And uh, just to illustrate a bit how it works, so say you want to move this footprint over here, and you must select this footprint. And the best way to do it is to right click it like this, uh, select it like this, and then right click, and then you select move, and there you can move it. You do this to, to rotate, you do the same thing, just select rotate counterclockwise or rotate clockwise. We are now going to start and draw, draw the outline of the printed circuit board or the edge of the uh, printed circuit board. And first thing we do is we select this layer. In the layer uh, man manager, ed ed edge cuts. We then go to the place menu and we select line. Then we draw a rectangle around the footprints of the components, like so. And So, uh, so, and we close, close it, and we right, oops, right click, and we click cancel, and then we select the uh, the select item, and we. Select the vertical left line by like this, and we right click and we select properties. And I've already worked out what the coordinates of the left horizontal line is. Uh, you will have to do it with a 
bit of experimentation in your case. Start point is 4.1, 4.1, that is also, the end point is also 4.1 on, on the x-axis because it's a vertical line. The start point in the y-axis is 5.3. And 3.2, and 3.2, and we make this a thickish line. Make line thickness 5, comma 0, and we click OK. And there we can see our left vertical line. Um, let's zoom to fit like that. Okay, now what we do now is the right vert vertical line, we select the right vertical line like so. And we right click and we click delete. And Select the left vertical line. And it's a bit picky, there we are. Right click it. And we select duplicate. And we move the duplicate right over to the right hand side. And we sort of more or less it ties up with the left vertical line, like so. And we right click it and we select properties and just check what it's going to be since I've done it before you'll have to do this through a bit of experimentation uh, so 7.7 5.3 and 3.27 7, 5.3, 7.7, and 3,2, and line thickness, 5, layer, edge cuts, and we click OK. And it jumps into position. OK, so now we're going to do the horizontal lines. And let's start with the top horizontal line, and let's Select it. Uh, it's a bit tricky. Uh, there we go. And we right click and we select properties. And I've once again done this before, so I know what the co coordinates must be so for the top horizontal line. So it's going to be four point one, three point two, seven point seven, and three point two. And we will the line thickness, we're going to make eight. Uh, Five comma zero, and we click OK, and we see it clicks right in p p position. It lines up with our two um, vertical lines, so we know we, we are correct. And now we've uh, got to do the bottom horizontal line, and once again we. Select the old one, we right click and we delete it, and then we select the top horizontal line. Uh, there we are, we right click and we 
range duplicate. There we are. And we duplicate, select duplicate, and we duplicate it. And the reason why we do, we, we do this because we know the length is, is correct. So we, if, if there's going to be any adjust, uh, adjustments, it's going to be very slight. And we put it more or less where we think it should be. And we right click and we select properties. And you will see that we more or less spot on. Uh, lower bottom or horizontal line. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah. X, X must be 4.1, 5.3, 7.7, and 5.3 again because I mean, it's, uh, the Y is, is always the same because it's a, a horizontal line. Value that, that varies is, is, is in the in the x direction. So it's from year to year, and we click OK, and there we are. And you can see it's clicked in position, and it's perfect. That's it. So we've finished with the um, outline or edge of the PCB. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.